I have seven o'clock. Smithville Board of Aldermen meeting is now called to order. Please join me in the pledge. All right, first item on the agenda is the consent agenda. Mr. Mayor, move to approve the consent agenda. Thank you, Alderman Blunker. Makes the motion, do I have a second? Second. Alderman Atkins seconds. Any discussion on the consent agenda? All in favor of approving the consent agenda say aye. 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 Opposed say no. Abstain. Thank you. Um, committee reports. Uh, I think we had parks, right? Yeah, we had parks. Um, really was just, um, you know, again, going over the parks master plan um, and some of the um, issues that we're looking at, trying to um, look into. Uh, one of them was with like the trails um, and how we like certain areas have more access uh, than others. I think one of our problems was going to be the southern portion of town. Um, we don't really have a lot of property and things like that to get trails around. So that might be a challenge, but it's definitely something to work on. Yep. And I'd encourage you all to attend those meetings um, and we'll open up the portal soon as well. So next item on the agenda is the city administrator's report. Ms. Wagner, do you have anything to report? A uh, few items I noted in my report. We have a couple of uh, personnel recognitions. Melissa Knowles was recognized recently as police officer of the year. Um, there's information in the my report outlining um, her nomination from her supervisor. Um, this is not an officer of the year is not awarded on an annual basis It's when it's um, merited and recommended. So sounds outstanding work on the part of officer Knowles. Uh, and then also Matt Denton, our Parks and Recreation Director, has been recognized by the National Recreation and Parks Association as their 30 under 30 to watch in 2021. Um, there's a link in the report as well about um, all of those 30 recipients and the information they provided about Matt. So that's uh, an exciting recognition as well. We have scheduled the board retreat for May 27th, um, location yet to be determined. Um, Patty Gintrip will again facilitate our board retreat in follow up to the sessions she did in 2018 and 2019. We'll be looking at information from those retreats and then also the strategic plan, strategic plan and comp plan as to how we're proceeding in those areas and look for um, short and long-term goals for the board in those areas. I will let you all know as well, in working with Patty on developing that um, because we'll have a number of new board members, but we also have a significant number of new staff members. Uh, prior to the board retreat, staff will be coming together to do a team building exercise. Uh, and we'll be looking at including all of the department directors as well as like the um, first level of supervisory after, under that, the police captain, um, Brittany Probst and um, Parks and Recreation uh, and so across the board, providing um, that team building for it'll be about 14 to 15 staff. Um, indicated in the report that the March meeting is recommended to be moved to um, the 23rd uh, and ordinance requires that um, we approve that by uh, ordinance that change. So that change will be on the February 16th and March 2nd agendas for move of the second meeting, which conflicts with spring break to March 23rd. And then wanted to also update you all. Uh, the last time we had a meeting, I had indicated that there was an effort uh, with the Clay County communities to provide a vaccination opportunity in the county. Um, there's been a lot of movement and a lot of change in the, in the two weeks that have, have transpired between now and then. 
um, the way the state is structuring the dissemination of um, the vaccines um, is based on the eight um, highway patrol troops throughout the state. Um, the effort that Clay County communities, North Kansas City Hospital and Liberty Hospital have partnered to provide on the Cerner campus has been identified as one of those areas that will receive vaccinations for distribution and that begins this coming Friday, uh, excuse me, Thursday, Friday and Saturday. Uh, Chief participates in a group of emergency services personnel providing support to that. Uh, if there is staffing needed, we will stand at the ready there. At this point in time, there's not been indicated a need for that. We are hopeful that that might be a way for us to be able to get vac vaccination for our frontline employees. And then as um, the tiers move through, uh, we'll be able to look at that. I would encourage anyone who's interested in a vaccination, go to the Clay County Public Health Center's website uh, and or their Facebook page and uh, sign in to, to the link to indicate your interest in the, in the vaccine. I don't know if anybody has any questions on that. If not, that is, I believe, all of my report for this evening. Thank you. Any questions for Cynthia before we move on? Next item on the agenda is number six. Mr. Mayor, move to approve bill number 2884-21, annexation of lot nine Lakeside Crossing for second reading. Thank you, do I have a second? Second. Thank you, Alderman Atkins, any discussion? Clerk, please call roll. Alderman Sarver. Aye. Alderwoman Wilson. Aye. Alderman Uledal. Aye. Alderman Chevalier. Aye. Alderman Atkins. Aye. Alderman Blumker. Aye. Six zero. Motion carries. Ms. Wagner, please read the bill. An ordinance annexing certain adjacent territory into the city of Smithville, Missouri. Thank you. Next item on the agenda is number seven. Mr. May move to approve bill number 2885-21. Amending section 150.080, exceptions to the pur purchasing policy, second reading. Thank you. Do I have a second? Second. Thank you, Alderman Uledal. Any discussion? Clerk, please call roll. Alderman Uledal. Aye. Alderman Atkins. Aye. Alderman Blumker. Aye. Alderwoman Wilson. Aye. Alderman Sarver. Aye. Alderman Chevalier. Aye. Six zero. Motion carries. Ms. Wagner, please read the bill. An ordinance repealing ordinance section 150.080 exceptions to the purchasing policy and enacting in its place a new ordinance section 150.080 exceptions. Thank you. Next item on the agenda is number eight. The mayor moved to approve bill number 2886-21, participation agreement with Greenbush, first reading. Thank you, do I have a second? Second. Thanks. Alderman Uledal, I think it was. Any discussion? Clerk, please call roll. Alderman Blumker. Aye. Alderman Sarver. Aye. Alderman Chevalier. Aye. Alderwoman Wilson. Aye. Alderman Atkins. Aye. Alderman Uledal. Aye. Six zero. Motion carries with Ms. Wagner. Please read the bill. An ordinance approving an agreement with Greenbush, the Southeast Kansas Education Service Center. Thank you. Next item on the agenda is number nine. Mr. Mayor, move to approve resolution 873, amending the schedule of fees for water and sewer rates. Thank you. Do I have a second? Second. Thank you, Alderman Atkins. Any discussion? All those in favor of approving resolution 873, say aye. Aye. Okay. Let us say no. <coughs> Motion carries. Next item on the agenda is number 10. 
Move to approve resolution 874, uh, bid award uh, 21-05, Streetscape phase two east. Thank you. I have a second. Second. Thank you. Any discussion? All those in favor of approving resolution 874, say aye. 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 Those say no. Motion carries. Next item on the agenda is 875, number 11. Mayor moved to approve resolution 875, uh, bid award number 21-07, turbidity meters. Thank you. Second. Second. Any discussion? All those in favor of approving resolution 875, say aye. 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 All opposed say no. Motion carries. Next item on the agenda is number 12. Mr. Mayor moved to approve resolution 876, contract amendment with Missouri Highway and Transportation Commission, blueprint for safer roadways grant. Thank you. Do I have a second? Second. Thank you. Any discussion? All those in favor of approving resolution 876, say aye. 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 All opposed, say no. Motion carries. Next item on the agenda is number 13. May I move to approve resolution 877, bid award number 21-02, City Hall renovation project. Thank you. Do I have a second? Second. Thank you. Any discussion? All those in favor of approving resolution 877, say aye. 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 Both say no. Motion carries. Next item on the agenda is number 14. Mr. Mayor, move to approve resolution 878, amend the 2020-2021 compensation plan. Thank you. Do I have a second? Second. Thank you. Any discussion? All those in favor of approving resolution 878, say aye. 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 Opposed, say no. Motion carries. Next item on the agenda is number 15. Mr. Mayor, move to approve resolution 879, storm sewer repairs on Pope Lane. Thank you. Second. Order server seconds. Any discussion? All those in favor of approving resolution 879 say aye. 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 Uh, say no. Motion carries. Any public comment? None. Moving on. Next, we have an appointment to the University of Missouri Extension Council of Clay County. Smithville's population based on Clay County's extension numbers is over 10,000. So we do now get a board representative for that board. And we had one person apply. Her name is Andrea. She lives in the house that was formerly the pink house behind City Hall. She's become very involved in the area. She's was involved in Platte County for a while. So if you get a chance to meet her and talk to her, her resume, I think, is also her, her applications in the packet. So I nominate for Andrea Plunkett to represent the city of Smithville for the University of Missouri Council of Clay County. Clerk, please call roll. Alderman Atkins. Aye. Alderman Sarver. Aye. Alderwoman Wilson. Aye. Alderman Uledal. Aye. Alderman Chevalier. Aye. Alderman Blumker. Aye. Six zero. Motion carries. Andrea Plunkett will be the city's representative for the University of Missouri Council of Clay County, which is nice to have a representative on that board. Uh, new business. Uh, one thing I do want to mention is, as we just approved the city hall renovation, the front of city hall and behind this wall will be under renovation, hopefully starting shortly. I think they said four days from notice to proceed or something like that. So there may be some construction when you're coming in, but uh, as we get closer to election time, uh, we want to review and evaluate and see uh, about having more in-person type meetings. Uh, we'll keep you guys updated, but we kind of stopped last time and this renovation happened. So, um, you know, let me know your thoughts on that. If you have concerns, we'll still have the Zoom option available for the indefinite future, um, right? No reason to get rid of it, it's working. Any other new business from any of the board members? Nothing? All right. With that, I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. So moved. Do I have a second? Second.
Thank you. All those in favor of adjourning, say aye. 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 Uh, say no. We stand adjourned. Thank you, everyone.